Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Today, we are playing Extreme Horror Anthology. So, this game is a game that I believe is currently on Kickstarter, but they've released the first chapter. Um, it's an interesting little premise. I will uh, read to you from the game page on a chair. This costs $5.94, so let's have a look. Basically, uh, Extreme Horror Anthology features interconnected horror stories within the same line timeline, offering another vision of horror. The first is Liam's Depravity, which is included in this, the full game of that. Uh, and there's a demo of the second game available with this too, which is called Arachnophobia. We are going to be checking out both of these in this video. Um, this cost me $5.94, but it was on sale. It's $6.99 now. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are like this. Uh, I quite like horror anthologies as a concept, and if these are good, we'll obviously cover the rest at some point. But anyway, Liam disappears after several weeks of inactivity. His sister Sophia, concerned, decides to visit his house without suspecting that Liam harbors a dark and horrifying secret. Alright, so we're playing as Liam's sister. Let's go. Police report, Spanish National Police. On April 6, 2006, at 12.40 a.m., Sophia entered her brother's house in search of answers. According to the taxi driver's testimony, he was questioned the same day. Sophia took a taxi at 9.35 p.m. and encountered a traffic jam, jam on the Mediterranean Highway. The taxi driver claims he saw Sophia anxious and worried about something. Due to discoveries regarding the case, the Spanish National Police transfers the investigation to the Spanish National Intelligence Center. C. N. I. Alright, so here we are as Sophia. And judging by what I can hear, the brother's flat isn't in the best condition. We have a cassette. And we have an inventory system. Your inventory consists of two main pockets. Maintain balance among objects, ensuring you do not exceed a total of six, otherwise your pockets will be unbalanced, hindering your progress. To fix this, drag objects between the left and right pockets, alternating to balance your load. This seems very unnecessary. You'll be able to equip weapons and other items in both your left and right hands, which will also count towards the balance of your inventory. Hover over the inventory slot to see the item description on the left side of the screen. Click on the item to go to the options menu. Click and drag to rotate the item and inspect it. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see the need for an inventory system like that, but, you know. Hey Liam, are you home? It's sis. It's sissy poo. Psychology report on Liam by Dr. River. The patient shows clear signs of psychopathy, pursuing something he calls perfection or visual balance. It seems he is unable to see other people's faces as normal faces and feels a strong aversion to current beauty standards. For him, perfection is the complete distortion of what others perceive as beauty. He pursues the mutilation of this idea, compulsively and violently. My career as a plastic surgeon has been flat. There was no calling, just parents who decided for me what I had to do with my life. Studying is the only thing I remember from my adolescence. Someone has written the word liar over the document. I wonder who could have done that? Could it have been a nomkin? That doesn't sound good, does it? That does really not sound good. There's something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my fingers. I wonder if this will be like a stalker horror. The bathtub is filled with a highly corrosive liquid. It smells very strong. A knife, which we took. Acquisition of adjoining property under the name of Liam. Renovation license granted by the state of... The paper is stained and no more can be read. So he bought the next door apartment as well, it sounds like. Presumably so he can do more fucked up shit. Reminder, I left that rusty hook hanging from the balcony light fixture. And a lovely drawing there. Look at that, look at that little drawing. Amazing. Can't interact with the gasoline. And I guess the rusty hook is in that light fixture. 
I think I can cross the other side, but it might kill me. I should put something on top to do it safely. What a lovely, lovely apartment building this is, by the way. Beautiful. Gorgeous, one might say. Chains surround the wardrobe. There's something odd about the lock that binds them. It seems the inside of the mechanism is made of copper. How would I know that? Am I a metal expert? Oh no, we have a horrible looking puzzle here. Alright, we have a camera. My pockets are unbalanced. Shocking. Four photos and three marks where it seems more photos should go. I'm guessing I need to take a picture of these. The clock, the chair, and the door. Can we put these in our hand? We can. Oh my god. You can barely walk when your pockets are unbalanced in this, which is absolutely ridiculous. Alright, anyway. The chair. The door. And the clock. I hear a clock. There's a clock. Okay. A photograph taken in my brother's house with a magnetic tape visible in the background. I'm considering discarding the unnecessary ones. I don't think this is unnecessary though, right? Because... Hang on. That's just the number though, that is on the picture, like already knew. I'm so confused. Also, why does my brother have a magic... Hello? I think it's, I think it's okay. The neighbours were always a little bit frisky. See, that says seven. Oh, we can use. Okay, that's good. Alright, I have all the pictures. The neighbours. God. I told I told him. I was like, listen, listen. Whatever your name is. I've forgotten your name. Um, listen. Don't come and live in this neighbourhood. It's just not a great place. And he was like, I, I, I just like it here. And I was like, well, that's just weird. Maybe you're a serial killer. <laughs> and how did we laugh? Alright, we got a pair of scissors. Which presumably can't be used for this. I, I would I would assume. Or they can. Okay, I guess that did nothing. I'm I'm very confused by the fact that did anything. I'm going to be honest, but it was a nice little animation. So, we'll... bro, bro, is that you? The drawing's made by Liam and it features my two older brothers. I haven't been born yet, so I'm not in it. There's something... No, I thought there was something behind it, but I don't think there is. The garbage smells rotten, like decomposing flesh. Liam, listen. You gotta put your trash out early. Or it just stinks up the place. That's what Mum told you when you moved out on your own. I suspect we need the hook. Oh, no, we got a lock of hair. Oh, we cut our own hair. Interesting. So we had to use that just for the sake of using it. All right. At the moment, I don't really see anything else we can use in these rooms. Or anywhere else to go, I'm going to be honest. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything with me in control, you know? We can't open the fridge or anything, can we? I can't crouch to pick that up, and we need something to get across here, but I have absolutely no idea what that would be. Oh, the scissors are gone. So the hair is something for something. I didn't mean to do that. Discard that. Alright, so where would I... what else am I looking for at this point? Can't pick up any of this. Hmm. 
can we put anything in here? Is there a cassette player where I can listen to this somewhere? Liam, where's your cassette player? I know Mum got you one for your eighth birthday, so you must still have it. Liam! Liam, Liam, where's the... Liam! So maybe... Maybe this is meant to be the clue. I left the rusty hook hanging from the balcony light fixture, but there's... I don't see a light fixture. Oh, I do. I'm an idiot. There's the hook. Okay. So we combine... This with this. I don't actually know if that's the case. We're about to find out. I'm guessing we use that to hook what's out the sink. There we go. Had to do it in the right place. It's like in Silent Hill. That's the second game this week I play with a Silent Hill puzzle. We have a key. Presumably for the copper padlock? Oh, it's over covered with dust and dirt. So we use the bathtub to strip it, right? Okay, now we have a clean copper key. Bro. It's probably nothing. He likes the gurgle. Likes a gurgling and a gargling. Oh shit, there's actual combat. Oh my god, Numkins. This video is brought to you by you. <laughs> by our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting us on Patreon lately. We did come really close to having to stop making content here, and thanks to you guys, we are now in a better position. If you guys want to allow us to keep maintaining that, Please consider pledging to our Patreon this month. We only need, I think, five more new signups on any tier, even the dollar tier, to hit our goal for the month. And that would be super amazing if we could. There's a link in the description right now. Go pledge, and you can become an elite tier numkin, like our producer, Alice. Oh my god, thank you so much yet again, Alice, for the many years and many many amazing moments we've shared together on stream. Thank you so much. Make sure you are following Alice at the links on screen right now. This weekend we'll be playing some games together, so make sure you tune in for that on Twitch. Follow Alice's Twitch so you don't miss it. Thanks for listening, and thanks for being Nom, everyone. I think I might die here. I'd say there's a very large chance of dying. Did I win? Did I win? I did win. I completely forgot I had the knife in my defense the first time. I feel like I'm probably not going to make it, guys, and I'm going to have to redo this bit again. I just didn't think this game had combat. It didn't feel like a combat game, if that makes sense. Buddy, I'm a young man street. I don't know the words. Gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face. A big disgrace. And to be honest with you, that's some pretty sick beats. That has redeemed the game already. It's a flashlight. Alright, I'm already dead, nearly. Oh, I can hold the flashlight and the knife at the same time. That's nice. Alright, there's a ladder going down to some ominous basement of death there, which is always a great place to be. Can't get in here at the moment by the list of things. Doesn't even have an interact, so... I guess this is where he carried out all his plastic surgeries to make identical ghost twins. Let's go down. 
Oh, perfection has been written in the wall a million times. Reminds me of, uh, the guy in Bioshock, like one of the first bosses. I can't remember his name. He's definitely making them all identical. I guess identical and ugly because that note at the beginning said his ideas of what makes someone beautiful are like the opposite of what they are. He wants to twist and corrupt the, the modern concept of what is beautiful. Reminder, buy invisible ink to number the floor of the cells. The doors of some of the cells are open. Many of my patients lose their sanity at the beginning of perfection therapy. First the one on the right dies, then the one of her, then the one in front of her. Then the one next to her kills the furthest one, and this one with her hand stained with blood commits suicide. It was a great loss for the research. Lovely. By invisible ink. Do we need the camera again? But yeah, um, my biggest gripe so far is the game just doesn't need an inventory system. It feels weird that it has one in the first place. Alright, it does. Nine. Eight. Six. Four. Right, that one doesn't have anything. So I'm guessing it's the order maybe dealt within the note here? First the one on the right dies, then the one in front of her, then the one next to her kills the furthest one. Okay. I don't know what perspective we're meant to be coming at this at, if that makes sense. Like it like it's incredibly hard to tell, right? Like it could be could be literally anything. I genuinely don't know what these are, so let's start from scratch. First the one on the right dies, I'd say eight first, okay. Then the one furthest away? So that'd be eight, nine. I don't think this is gonna be right, is it? First the one on the right dies, then the one in front of her, sorry. Uh, okay. So it's gonna be eight. Whatever this one is. Eight, six. Not this one then. This one kills the furthest one. So it's eight, six, nine. Four. Is that four? I can't actually tell. Let's take the picture again. Yeah, four. If this works, I'll discard the pictures afterwards. Probably after I get attacked, but let's try. Eight, six, nine, four. Well, we're getting killed already. Probably gonna die here. Yeah, we did it right. Maybe. I hope there's no more combat because I am one hit from death and I don't want to play this all over again. Varicy chains around the door blocking the way. Could they give way? I should weaken the corroded metal while trying to break them. Okay, well we don't have anything for that at the moment. Not oh, now we do. Alright, let's get rid of these. I mean, I'm so dead, guys. There's no fucking way I'm surviving this. 
I'm one hit from death, I would say. I hear Pete's as well. I got a map. This place is massive. Holy shit. Holy shit. An underground map of my brother's experimental maze filled with details that warrant careful study. We need three cubes. Got it. Give me a healing item. Oh, we can play the cassette here. Can we not? Are you fucking kidding me? How much combat is in this? If I have to do this all over again, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. Alright, let's do this. Use... We definitely are, by the way. Definitely playing this again. Trials with humans in perfection therapy. Trial number five successful. Now they resemble puppets consumed by the obsession for change. Their faces exude beauty. They perceive me as a god. And all I see is their happiness. They are perfect now. Yes, they are perfect now. Bro is having such a good time. I'm so proud of him. He found it really hard to focus in class and everything, but it sounds like he's finally got a project that he can believe in, you know? Give me a healing item game. Or I am going to have to do this all over again. Hmm. This not good enough? Hmm. All right. I mean, we're going to get killed as soon as we run into another enemy, so... We got one of the weird cubes. There are several pages from a notebook that appear to have been deliberately torn and written on. It all started with those cubes. I'll never forget the first day I saw them. I fought them from that archaeologist I met when I passed through Madrid, just thinking of taking home an interesting souvenir. From the first day I brought them home, those voices started in my head. They spoke to me about kidnapping those women to make them perfect. I haven't told my psychiatrist about the existence of the cubes. I will find perfection even if it costs me my life. Now I only find refuge in the most depraved obsession. The portal is ready. Will perfection be there? The ultimate of all edges. Goddess and nurturer, make me knower of all. We've suddenly gone kind of Lovecraftian a little bit here. That's interesting. Some cursed relic. Oh, okay. a baby. It has built-in trophies, which I think is an interesting concept. I actually think more games should do that, I'm, and I'm totally okay with that, obviously. I really wish there was a healing item, though. I hear something coming. Hi. Like, what am I supposed to do against the ridiculous amount of enemies with no healing? Yeah, I'm dead. If I have to do this all over again, I, I'm going to lose my shit, I'm going to be honest with you. You are dead. Please have checkpoints. Please. Please have some basis. Please. 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 No! Holy shit! That is some absolutely awful design. I will be back in 29 minutes! I have been playing this. 29 minutes with no. I, I actually can't believe it. I'm. Just, okay, the knife thing. Not getting that right? It's on me. It is on me. I completely forgot I had a knife. Okay, that's completely my fuck up. But not having a checkpoint in 2024 in a video game is just completely unacceptable. It just is. No, no one's got time to replay huge amounts of shit. It's just not okay. And I paid money for this. If you pay money for something, you you got to make it clear, first of all. Do you make it clear there's no saves? I'm going to say it before I say that. No. It, no. Checkpoints have to be had. It's 2024. I, I like. I have a. I have like a, a life. I don't have a life. That's just a lie. <laughs> but uh, I have like a schedule. I have to finish things in within time frames. As I do this for a job, and I just fucking and other people playing this for fun, for example, right? They're gonna have like fucking, you know, lives. 
They're gonna have kids. They're gonna have things that get in the way of free time, and you you genuinely can't expect a player to do something like this again and again and again and again. I'm sorry for the little rant, but you do ask for feedback, and my feedback is there should be a checkpoint at every single fucking loading screen, at the very least. Like, when I go down to the basement, there's a checkpoint. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Also, get rid of the pocket mechanic. It's it's terrible. Like, other than that, I will say, I think there's some cool ideas in this. But, um, there is not cool ideas when I have to see it more than a few times. At absolute most. Well, I'm back, guys. I'm on orange health now, which is obviously not the ideal situation. I'm beginning to think this is glitched. But I'm going to try it again. Oh! It's an empty container. I thought it had something in it. Okay. So do I have to go back upstairs? And use it in the... Uh... Acid room? I might have to, unfortunately for me. We have any other notes here? I just picked up the other cube. Uh, so I'm on orange health, which is not ideal, but... Um, I'm willing to give this at least another shot here. There isn't a, a really many ways you can see off the enemy attacks. They just kind of come at you, and you're just kind of fucked. I think we do have to go all the way back to get the acid, which... Not happy about, but... It's not the end of the world either, like... The, the problem is we're presumably going to come across a bunch of fucking enemies on the way that are going to kick our asses. Unless there's something in one of these? I was optimistic, but apparently not. Why did my pocket suddenly become unbalanced? Like here. That's very strange. Yeah, this should be a checkpoint, by the way. This ladder. Alright. I do on Okay. She's living her best life. I can't uh, fault her too much for that, you know. It's gonna break. You seem to be taking your fucking sweet time getting over that. Alright, probably more enemies, I'm gonna guess, in here. Well, maybe not. Their bodies are still there from when I've killed them. Alright, we go here. We use this. Why are my pockets unbalanced? I guess this weighs more? There we go. I feel like this is gonna break on the way back, like 100%. Come on. Alright. Gonna be an enemy here, surely. I'm running. I'm going on the assumption that if I can outrun some of the enemies, I don't have to fight them. Alright, now we can get the final cube. And hopefully get into the finale of whatever this is. So, brother's gone mad. Not because he's a psychopath, but apparently, but because he's been corrupted by some ancient cube eldritch artifacts. That is not where I expected this to be going, I'm going to be honest with you. And it's a decent twist, like, story-wise and, like, concept-wise of exploring, like, your twisted brother's house. I think this is pretty cool. I'm not on board with fighting the hordes of clones. Uh, sorry, perfection treatment. Um, people. But, it's not terrible. Using this alone, what, what, I've got to combine it, okay. I've got to combine these two together, that's fine. Combine this and this. Surely another fight from this, right?
Alright, I have all the cubes. I'm trying to listen out for, uh... There's probably nothing. Oh, well, Liam's playing clarinet. He, he did love to play clarinet, Liam. All right. That has opened something somewhere. That does not sound good, does it? Okay. I mean, something just happened, but... Oh, hi! I guess this is where we go. <laughs> Police record on disappearance of Sophia. In collaboration with the Spanish National Intelligence Center, CNI, the following police report regarding the case of Sophia's disappearance has been drafted. On April 6, 2006, evidence was found indicating that Sophia used a phone booth to leave a voicemail for her mother. The booth was located near her older brother Liam's residence. According to the investigation, Sophia headed to her brother's house in search of answers, as he had not responded to her messages or calls for several months. Upon arrival at her brother's house, Sophia discovered the door was open. Everything indicates that this was the last place where any activity from the woman was recorded. According to investigators, Sophia Sophia's disappearance within a trace, disappeared without a trace after entering her brother's residence. Okay. Alright. So, thoughts on that part. Aside from not having a checkpoint, it's, 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 it's pretty decent. Like, uh, I like the concept. I think it's cool. For a one-man dev team, I can't fault it. Um, I think, I think it's, I think it's a, a, a good concept. Did we just unlock a gun to use on that if we wanted to? That's kind of cool if we did. That, that's like a throwback to the old things. All right, let's check out the demo of arachnophobia, which is, I think, is that spelt right? I actually don't know. I can't make a, I'm not good enough at spelling to pay, pass comment on whether it's spelt right or not. Daniel, an experienced archaeologist, embarks on a journey to an ancient copper mine in Spain. However, horror and unease reach extreme levels when he discovers that hell itself seems to have emerged in that place. All right, well, let's check this out. And if this is any good, we will check out other episodes. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Do you want to see more episodes of this as they come out? Uh, Kickstarter link, by the way, will be in the description, um, if you want to back this. By the way, just the record, I think you can tell by my criticism, I'm not being paid to play this or anything like that, I'm just checking it out and trying to give my honest opinion. Have you seen this person play Morbid Catastrophe? I guess it's another one of their games. Oh, this is Sophia, who went missing in the first game. Oh my god, it all ties together, beautifully, with a beautiful bow, a bonus. I thought I may as well check out the demo of this one as well. I'm guessing this is going to be fairly short. Hang on. So guys, I do this a lot lately, but I have new headphones and I keep putting them on the wrong way around. So that sounded like it was coming from the wrong direction. I was like, why is my car beeping in the distance behind me? Not the way that I just came from. Someone just booked it. So what did they take? What did they just take from my car? I heard his little Pete's being like... Dun, 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 dun. Alright. I don't really know what else I'm meant to be doing. That doesn't sound good. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I was on like a highway like this and I heard that kind of shit, I'd be shitting myself. Wow, a door that's changed shut just as well. I've got these shears. Otherwise, we could be in a very, very precarious situation, Numpkins.
I hope there's a big spider jump scare in this demo. I want a big spider. Ideally, a hot female one. Ready to lay. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> well, that was very abrupt, but I quite liked it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Just as I said what I said. That was funny. Anyway, that was Extreme Horror Anthology. It's not bad. Um, if you want to uh, see me cover the rest of the games in this series, let me know in the comment section below, assuming they come out. There'll be a link to the Kickstarter, like I said. And um, overall, I think this is pretty decent. Needs a bit more polish and probably some checkpoints. I give it a 6 out of 10 as it currently stands, but it could become a 7 or even an 8 if things like come together coherently as a story across the four games as well. I, I think that would be interesting. But yeah, uh, check it out uh, on... Uh, there'll be a link to the Itch.io page as well, uh, if you want to play the game for yourself. Because uh, I'm sure I missed some stuff in that first area. Or if you just want to go in with a gun. I don't know if I... I, I need to check this. I, before, we can, before we finish, let me just see if I've got the fucking gun. Because I'll be intrigued if I have. Because that, that is a fun unlock. Because you just get to shoot everything instead of worrying. Don't worry, Sophia. You're just going to go to a portal to another world, it's fine. It's no big deal. I will say something. I don't think this is that extreme. Yeah, you do, you do get the gun. It says shiz. Can I not move this around? I can. So yeah, you get a gun. That's nice. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, make sure you like and comment the video. It's so important if you can. And also, another really important thing that you can do is pledge to our Patreon. There is a link in the description right now. Uh, we are still chasing a few supporters by the end of the month. And it would really, really help us out if you could spare even a dollar to get us towards the goal there. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for being Nom. And I will see you guys soon for more Spooky Dookie Times. Goodbye.